In this video, we'll be covering Blazor deep linking and navigating to components. There's a lot of information to cover here for this section. We're going to add the dashboard view. That's this area right here. Then we're going to be adding a hero details component, which is down here. And we're also going to be doing routing from button clicks, which is all these blue arrows navigating all around. So let's get started. So the first step today is we're going to add this navigation link. If I click down to here, there's this component that we're going to be creating. It's going to have the title, the nav router link, the outlet, and the app messages. We don't really need this outlet because we don't do the same thing in Razor. But let's flip over to our app and take a look. So under shared, in the main layout, we have a nav menu here. So I'm just going to uncomment this one. And then in this nav menu, I'm going to just completely blow this over with code that I've copied out of a Git repository. I can send a link in the description below. Here we're going to have this nav item. We're going to do something new here with nav links. These are part of Blazor that lets Blazor have a routing component that takes over and handles that navigation for us. In Angular, you had to do something that was more like uh, registering routes. In here, this works completely differently. And the only thing that really matters here is this href tells us to go to this dashboard, which is basically like routing to that link. So that's what that's what we're going to do here. We're going to route to dashboard when they click on dashboard, which doesn't exist yet. And then they're going to route to heroes when they go to this hero link. So I'm just going to save that, and save the main layout. And then the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to update um, this section in the main layout that we're not using currently. I have to take out all these comments. because we're gonna have the body here, but in order to have some of these shared things like messaging, we're going to update this so that the body goes here where our body is gonna be this router outlet. Uh, we're gonna let the body do that, and then we're gonna have our nav up above, we're gonna have our title, and we're gonna have app messages. So flipping back to the code, we really just want our main layout to look like this, where we've commented out this row, we're going to put our, our header of Tour of Heroes there. We're going to have our outlet be right here for all, all the stuff that goes through the rest of our pages. And then we're going to have our app messages component get referenced so that we don't have to include it on all the pages. So going back to the app, we have some other changes we need to make here. Um, if we go down to this next thing where we add a dashboard view, we're going to add this new component and we're going to also add the CSS. So I'm just going to copy and paste this code in and then we'll walk through it together. So here we're going to go into our components and we're going to make a new component called dashboard.razor. And I'm just going to paste all this code. Again, I'll have a link to the repository where I'm copying this code out of. So if you want to take a deeper look at it, um, it'll be down in the description. But really, there's nothing new here if you've been following the rest of the tutorial. We're going to be still injecting in this iClient. We're going to be injecting a messenger service. And then we're going to be injecting something new, which is a navigation manager. And this is so that we can do routing on the links. Um, and then here, this is a little bit different. But in a component or in a page, you can do app page. And this is actually the routing here. So back in the shared in the nav menu, this dashboard here will tie directly to this dashboard's uh, page link here. And then we're just, again, doing the same thing. This is the code that was showing in the Tour of Heroes guide. We've, we've replaced some bindings here for the for each. We've done the same thing with hero name. And we've also done at on click. And this will navigate to a hero here. And so we've done all this before in other places. Um, inside of our code, we have a hero array. And I believe this one's a little bit different, but we're using the on initialized async to get our heroes. And 
we're skipping ahead a little bit, but we're basically just going to take the top four heroes for the service rather than grabbing all 20 of them. The dashboard is only going to show four. So here we're just going to use Link to take those top four and then pull those back as an array. And we're, we're also wiring up this Navigate 2 hero. So if we go back up here and look at this one, when we do the on click, we're going to be passing that hero. So when you do this Navigate 2, it's going to pass the hero object from the four each. And then we're going to pass that hero name to the route below. The next piece we're going to do is update the hero details. Before, when we were doing hero details, we weren't we were passing this in as a parameter, but here we want to actually inject that through the routing so that we're going to pass that name. So in dashboard, when we call this navigate to, we want to pass hero detail with the string for the hero name. So this will allow us to do a deep link here to the hero detail page, and then the name will get passed here and as a parameter. So we're no longer going to need this here. So I'll just comment that out. Just going to double check back with the map that we have up here. So before what we were doing was we were we were clicking on a hero and it would pull up details below, but now we want those to be navigating over this hero detail. So what we're going to do on this on select, we're going to navigate away to the hero detail with the hero name. And then up here, we're just going to remove this section. So now when we click the on click, we're going to go straight to that hero detail. And that should be the only changes we have to do here. I'm just going to save to make sure everything is saved. It's like I'm not able to save for some reason. It looks like I missed something down here. When we took this out, we no longer need the selected hero. It's not being used anymore. So then we're also going to remove it from here as well. And then we can build or we can save now properly. So far we've done a lot. We've changed the heroes components. We've added a dashboard component. We've moved where app messaging is at. If we look at our nav menu, we have links here now to the dashboard. We've updated our main layout where we have our body being called here. We have app messages and we've moved our heading. So if we go back to our page, Let's take a look at our index. We no longer need this title here because we moved it out. We no longer need app messages here because we're calling that on the shared page. And we no longer need this title because nothing's using it. But the one thing we do need to add is our dashboard component. Okay, so that was a lot to take in and a lot of changes. Let's try to build here. We're on .NET build and then .NET run. I'm gonna actually load this side by side. This is what we started with. And this is where we're at now. So we have these nav links up here with dashboard and heroes. So if I click between these, we route between these two different components. And then if we click on one of these um, heroes here, we route to that details component. And then we can click clear and see that we're still getting all of our um, messages and everything going here. So the final thing we're going to do to clean this up is we're going to go back into the WW root and go to the index and we're going to pull out this um, link to bootstrap here. This is messing up our CSS and we don't need that. So if we just save this, go back to a .NET build, do a .NET run. And then we're going to go back to our page. I'm just going to reload it in this one here. So now we've got our dashboard links. They're smaller. Um, I think the changes we made in the earlier section, it screwed up our numbers a little bit and it bumped up those a little bit. We can change that later, but it's not really going to affect us here. But it looks nicer. It adjusts with the screen. If we click down, everything's actually working here.